Hello everyone and welcome to a new video about Tana. Today I want to explain the main feature of Tana, the super tags. As you will see, they are not simple labels for your nodes. They are at the foundation of your productivity and knowledge management system inside Tana. Understanding how to use them will bring your system to a whole new level. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's say that I want to create a super tag that helps me to categorize the videos I publish on YouTube. For example, I can write the title for a new video. And to create a super tag, I just need to write hashtag and the name of the tag. In this case, YouTube video. As you can see, right now it looks like a classic tag. But if you right click on it, you can access the configuration panel. And now things are starting to get interesting. Let's start from the top. Here you can find the name of the super tag and if you hover above it, you can add an icon and a banner to it. You can also place the cursor on the name of the super tag, open the command palette with command K and search for generate icon and generate banner image. Now, if you zoom into the node, you can see that the icon and the banner you set in the super tag configuration are also displayed in the node associated with the super tag. This means that every time I create a new node about a YouTube video, it will inherit the icon and the banner of the super tag. Then here you can add a description if you want to and change the color of the super tag. Since this is a super tag about YouTube videos, I will choose red. Let's move on by accessing the content template section. Here you can define fields that become attributes to the super tag object. For example, we can add a thumbnail field where you can store your video image. And another example can be a recording date field. Now, every field has its configuration panel where you can define various options. For example, since I should insert a date inside the recording date field, I can open the configuration panel and select date as the field type. In this section, you can also add simple nodes. For example, I like to have a brain dump section where I jot down ideas about the video. And now, right after the default content, there is an optional fields section where you can insert fields that you don't use really often. Honestly, I don't really use it, but it's still another option available. The show checkbox option, as the name suggests, shows a checkbox at the beginning of the node. Enabling this feature unlocks another option that allows you to map the checkbox state. But I will cover this option in another video where I will talk about project and task management. Then, since Tana leverages AI for different features, you can assign a base type to your super tag to help the AI understand what tagged items mean. In this case, I don't select anything since I don't have an appropriate base type for this super tag. The last really important feature to mention here, and that you might have noticed, is the extend from button located here on the right. So think about it. We are customizing a super tag for our YouTube videos. We created a thumbnail field and a recording date field, but you can also have other fields such as content URL or publish date. Now, let's say that we start writing articles for our blog. You create a new super tag and call it blog post. Which fields would you want to insert? For sure, we will have a thumbnail, a content URL, and a published date, which are also fields inside our YouTube super tag. So when you see that you are using the same fields for different super tags, you have to ask yourself what these super tags are all about. In this case, 
we can say that these super tags are both related to content creation. So first, let me delete the thumbnail, the content URL and the publish date fields from the YouTube video super tag. Now, what I can do is create another super tag called content creation. And store those fields in it. I set the content URL field as URL field type and the publish date field as date. Now I go back to the YouTube video super tag, click on extend from and choose the content creation super tag. As you can see, the fields are automatically inherited. And I do the same for the blog post super tag. Okay, the next section is all about AI and commands. For example, a feature that I think you will use often is the command palette right here. In Tana, you have several commands you can use to automate your workflows, but you can also create your own commands. For example, I can create a command that opens the article link with a click of a button. To do so, I need to create a command. To do that, I write the name I want to give to it and click on Convert to Command node. Now, I want to see the button only when the content URL field is filled. So, I need to apply a filter. I do that by simply using the greater than sign and searching for node filter. Here, I set the expression. In this case, show the command when the field content URL is set. Lastly, I added the command open link. And inside the configuration panel, I specify the URL I want to open, which in this case is stored inside the field content URL. And now, if I open the node of the blog post and insert a URL inside the field, the button appears next to the node. And if I click on it, it will redirect me to the web page. This is the feature I use the most in this section, but another one that could be useful is the trigger commands on events. Right now you can trigger commands when you add or remove a tag, but I think there will be more in the future. Lastly, we have the advanced options settings. Here you have the possibility to build the title of the node using the values stored inside the super tag fields. Just for example, let's add a title field. Cut the text from our node and paste it inside the field. Now, if I want to use the value stored inside the title field, I just need to write the dollar sign and the name of the field inside curly brackets. If I change the value of the title field, the name of the node will change accordingly. You can also build the title using the name you assigned to it plus the value of the fields you want. To do that, you just need to write a dollar sign and between curly brackets, simply name. Moving on, we have the default child super tag option where you can choose a super tag that will be applied to all new nodes created within the main super tag. Let's create a new child super tag named idea. Select it here. And now, every time I create a new node within the blog post super tag, it will be automatically tagged as idea. 
Honestly, this is something I don't use since I prefer to decide when and how to tag nodes within the main super tag. But one thing you can do, for example, is creating a simple node here, let's say ideas. And if you open the command palette, you can search for set default tag for children and select the super tag idea. Now, every time you create a node within the ideas node, it will be automatically tagged as idea. Another cool feature is the related content. One important thing to highlight is that here you can insert only search nodes or reference nodes. For example, as we already saw in my previous video, we can create a search node by simply typing a question mark and clicking on create a search node. I will cover real use cases in future videos, but in this one, I will use the tag YouTube video. Just to show you how this feature works, click on done and give it a name. Now, if I zoom into the blog post node, as you can see, your search node is on the right side. If you open the options, you can also move the related content to the bottom, but I personally prefer having it on the right. After that, here you have a section where you can insert shortcuts to key destinations that are relevant for the super tag. By default, Tana provides you with a search node that is a global overview of all the nodes tagged with this super tag. Lastly, here you can see how many times you use this super tag. If you click on it, Tana opens a temporary view that lists the various nodes. And here you can delete the super tag, but be careful with this. And that's a wrap. Super tags are the heart of Tana, and as you saw, it's not just about categorizing content. Super tags allow you to enrich your thoughts with attributes that give additional context to them. This is really powerful when it comes to building your personal knowledge management system. And now, remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon, and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM, and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, let me know what would you like to see in the next video in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you the next time. In the meanwhile, stay productive.